don't, you go back to the bottom after you've taken so much time. We have letters that we give to the homeowner, we have letters that we give to realtors, and we have letters that we give to buyers. Explaining the process, explaining the pros and the cons, explaining the time frame. Because of course, when you have a first time home buyer and they find the house that they love, they instantly want it. You know, they want, I want to move in next week. But time is not of the essence when it comes to a short sale. So sometimes it could take three to four months in order to get the short sale approved. And one thing that licensed professionals need to do, they need to be sure that they have all of the debt. Because if anyone is going to take a hit after the short sale is approved, it's likely going to be that licensed professional, whether that is your attorneys, whether you have a loan officer working with you, or whether you're working with a realtor. So one thing to do is always order the title. You have to look at the title to see if you have any mechanics lien. Do they have a home equity line of credit? Did they take a second loan now? Uh, do they have any federal debt against them? These are the things that you're going to look for because you have to take account for every debt. Have they paid their taxes? Have their taxes been sold? Are they current on their assessments? And the list goes on and on and on. So short sales are not for the faint at heart. It is for a person who is very detailed, for someone who has taken the time to get the necessary training, for someone who has systems in place. They have checklists, they have a team to assist in this process. And when I say a team, not only nine times out of ten do they want to see this property listed, so you need to have a realtor. You need to have a real estate attorney that specializes in short sales. This is not the person who prepared your grandmother's will. This is the person who specializes in real estate, but also does short sales. I tell people all the time, you know, they'll tell me, well, I have a lawyer. And I'll say, what does your lawyer specialize in? Because if they have never did a real estate transaction or they've never did a short sale, the likelihood is they'll mess the transaction up. So you want to deal with an attorney who specializes in this area. You generally need to have a general contractor. What kind of condition is the property in? The likelihood, if a person cannot pay their mortgage, they have deferred maintenance to the property. Therefore, repairs are going to be needed. So you want to have that person who can come in and give you a true estimate of the cost. Is the roof leaking? Is the basement flooded? Is the kitchen outdated? Are there electrical problems, plumbing problems, foundation problems? There's so many things and you want to take all of this in consideration because you really want the lender to know what type of asset they have, whether it's a good one or a bad one, and you document everything. I think that short sales are is a great way to acquire property in this marketplace. Now is the time to buy. And short sales is one way to purchase a property. It allows you to negotiate directly with the lender and a lot of times it's without competition. If a property comes back to the market, a lot of times you won't have that chance. But if you're working with a person and they have a portfolio of properties that you can short sell, it allows you the chance to really go after a property you want and negotiate on your own terms. What is going to be best for you? documenting, hey, this property has a lot of problems that now I have to put twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 into it. So, if you're going to do short sales, I, I tell you now, deal with professionals and get trained. Don't just jump up and decide that you're going to do it because your friend did it. You might end up in trouble. One thing that they're taking a look at now is that a lot of properties that are in foreclosure have, were previously in foreclosure. And the reason that they're in foreclosure again is because there were some issues with the property that were never rectified. So let's say, for instance, a HUD property. A HUD is nothing more than an FHA foreclosure. What happens is no one has ever did any repairs. That person went into foreclosure two years ago. They come in, they board the property up, they clean it out. But what about the foundation? What about the electrical? What about the plumbing? So now you have another person come in, they wanted this HUD property, they heard they were a great deal, but what they don't know is that the property had set for two years vacant and no one has ever did any work to it. 
So this first time home buyer with 100% financing, uh, they got HUD to pay their clothes and costs, they come in and they buy the property. And what they find out is that the property wasn't properly winterized. So as soon as they go in and they turn the water on, they start getting seepage from the walls and out the ceilings. So you want to deal with professionals that can get you the right type of financing. A lot of times when you're dealing with short sales or foreclosures, you do want some type of purchase rehab loan so that you can go in and make the necessary repairs. One thing is that you want to educate yourself so that you won't fall victim in the future to having to do a short sale yourself. I would like to welcome you to come out and join us for one of our numerous classes or seminars on short sales and foreclosures, where if you have any questions, we are available to help you. My name is Marky Lemons, the queen of foreclosures with Marky Lemons Unlimited, where we are focused on real estate. Thank you.